Hi, this is Clara from Online Fabric Store. Today I'm going to be making back tab curtains, which have hidden tabs on the back that look like this. I really like this style of curtain for three reasons. They have a nice seamless look top to bottom. It slides really nicely along a curtain rod and the tabs form pleats that have a nice controlled drape but aren't too formal. I'm making these with a drapery lining which will help protect your fabric from sun and moisture damage. Making your own custom curtains is a great option and it's surprisingly simple. All you really need to know is how to sew a straight line. So with that said, let's get started. The materials I'm going to use are decor fabric. This is P. Kaufman Laidbroke Sir Peacock drapery lining. I'm using Rockland Rain No Stain white drapery lining, a straight edge, an iron and ironing board, a rotary cutter and or scissors, something to mark the fabric with, a sewing gauge which is optional but handy, pins, a measuring tape, and thread. I'm making two panels per window, each panel measuring 25 by 95 inches, but you'll want to alter these measurements to fit your own window. First, you'll want to make sure your edges are square. I'm using the corner of this table to check that. To determine the length to cut your fabric, you're going to add 10 inches to your desired finished length. Then mark the other side of your fabric. Use a straight edge or two to mark the entire width of your fabric. You're going to add 2 inches to the width for the side seams. Since I'm using the entire 54 inch width, I'm just going to fold it in half and cut down the fold. If you're using drapery lining, you're going to cut it to the finished dimensions of your panel. Then you're going to cut your tabs, which will each be 4.5 by 6 inches. I'm going to need to make four tabs to determine the amount you'll need for your panels. Each tab will be two inches wide and you'll want about six inches between the tabs. You're going to fold your tabs in half, wrong side facing, and you're going to have about a quarter of an inch seam allowance. And remember to go forwards and backwards to lock in your stitch. Then you're going to turn your tubes inside out. You're going to put the seam in the center and iron. With your fabric facing down, you want to center your drapery fabric with five inches on each end and about an inch and a half on the sides and pin it in place. Fold over the edge three quarters of an inch, which should be to the edge of your drapery lining, and iron. And then fold it over one more time, three quarters of an inch. Do this down the entire length of the curtain and repeat on the other side. Next, just sew down the entire length with about a quarter inch seam allowance. For the bottom hem, I'm going to fold over an inch and iron that. Fold over four inches and iron again. I'm going to sew it down the side seam. When I get to the corner of the hem, I'm going to make sure the needle is in the fabric, lift the foot, and pivot it. Put down the foot and keep sewing. I'm 
gonna stop again at the corner and pivot again. I'm gonna repeat the folding and ironing the same as the bottom hem, but stop before I sew. Now I'm going to attach the tabs. I'm gonna fold over the edge about an inch and iron. Repeat for the rest. I'm gonna take the folded end and tuck it under the top hem. And then space out the rest between five and six inches so that they're evenly spaced. And then and then in place. Then fold under the top of the tab so that it's even with the top of the curtain and iron that and pin in place and repeat. Now I'm going to sew down the bottom edge of the top hem. When you get to the end, you're gonna pivot again. Then you're gonna sew down the other side seam and pivot at the corner and continue on. Another option is to use a wide ribbon to make your tabs since they'll be hidden once they're on the window. So I now have my two curtain panels, so they're ready to hang. Thanks for watching this OFS project.